Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome to the channel. Today's class is a daily yoga flow to get you moving and feeling good when you're short on time. Let's start in a kneeling position at the back of the mat. Once you're in your kneeling position, let's come straight into the movement today. Linking the fingers, rounding through the back of the body, lifting nice and high. Take the fingertips behind the head, open through the elbows, lifting tall, and then let's say take a twist to the right. You might like to wrap the right arm behind the back here and really open through that shoulder. Come back through center, let's take the other side. Link the fingers, exhale as you round through the back of the body. Inhale to lift, find length through the spine. Fingertips come behind the head, open through the elbows. Lift the heart, press high once again, and then we twist to the left. Right hand coming to the outside of the left knee. Maybe wrap the left arm behind you and open through the shoulder. And really find that length through the spine. Then come back through the center. Let's come to tabletop. Wrists directly under shoulders, knees under hips. Draw the core in lightly. You can take regular cat and cow here, or you might like to take a little more of a barrel roll. So a bit of a side to side action, bringing the chest down and then arching. Let's take three more one way. Doesn't matter which way you go, as long as you go both ways. All the way around, feeling into the side of the body in this movement. And then back the other way. Stretching through the spine and a little bit into the hips as well. And one more. And then come back to a neutral spine. Let's thread the needle. Lifting the right arm nice and high, thread it through. Let's move through the first two. Lifting high once again, threading through. And this time, lifting high, thread the hand through, bring the side of the shoulder and the side of the head down towards the mat and just find a little more of a stretch there. Sort of where the rib cage meets the spine. Deep breaths. Lift the, the arm high nice again, <laughs> once again. Bring the hand down, let's take the other side. Left arm lifts, thread it through. And again, lifting high, thread it through. Last time, lift nice and high. Thread the hands through, side of the shoulder, side of the head, come down. And while you're here, really press both sit bones equally to the wall behind you. Can you find a little more twist there? And then lifting the arm high, place it down and let's take our first downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, knees come off, press the mat away through the hands and heels travel, travel down towards the mat. Bend the knees as much as you need here. And then let's pedal through the feet, feeling that lovely stretch through the back of the legs and maybe just give the head a shake. Just checking there's no tension there. And then from there, let's twist the dog. So take the left hand and place it somewhere between the knee, the right knee and the right ankle. And then eye gaze is under the arm. And really use this hand to pull you through. Just a couple of breaths there. Bring the hand down, let's take the other side. Threading the right hand through, take somewhere between the knee and the ankle. Eye gaze under the arm, draw yourself through. Bring the hand down and let's just gently, like your feet are kissing the earth, 
pad up towards the top of the mat. Feet are hip width apart, hang forward in ragdoll, feeling the vertebra lengthen away from each other. Just relax here, maybe take the back of the elbows and take a gentle rock side to side. Then from there, deep inhale, and as you exhale, bending the knees lots, rolling up through the spine, coming to standing. Now, you're welcome to keep the feet hip width apart or toe heel them together, and we'll come into our sun salutations. Lifting the arms nice and high, forward fold, bow to the earth. We'll step back with the right to a lunge, hips nice and low here, and then come to your downward facing dog. From here, coming through to your high plank, let's bring the knees down for the first round and then lower all the way down to the mat. Roll the shoulders back, come to your cobra here. So just lifting off through the upper back, keep the neck nice and long here. And then press back, downward facing dog. Stepping the right foot through to a lunge, bring the left knee down. Then from here, Lifting the right arm high and wrap it behind you. Opening through that right shoulder. Keep pressing those hips through towards the front of the mat. Then lift the arm high, place it down. We're going to come to pyramid pin pose from here. So tuck the left toes under, bring the foot in slightly and then fold forward over that front thigh. Bend the knee as much as you need here. We'll take a few breaths, just feeling a gentle stretch through the hamstring. And then from there, stepping the left foot in to meet the right, take a halfway lift, core drawing in, forward fold, and then let's bend the knees and roll up through the spine. We'll take the other side. Lift the arms nice and high on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Step back with the left foot to a lunge. Then find your downward facing dog. Exhale here. Flow through to your high plank, knees or toes. Lower down, elbows in by your sides. Cobra or upward facing dog if you're ready. Inhale here, pull back, downward facing dog. Let's step through with the left this time. Bring your right knee down, then lift the left arm high. Wrap it behind you, open through that shoulder. Lift the arm high once again, place it down, and we come to pyramid. Tuck the right toes under, bring the foot in slightly. Have the toes turned out a little bit. So at about a uh, 35 degree angle even, and then fold forward over that left thigh. Couple of breaths there. And then from there, stepping the foot in, halfway lift once again. Length through the side of the body, folding forward, bow down to the earth, and then rolling all the way up to standing. From there, let's sink into chair pose. Butt comes nice and low over the heels, lifting the arms high, drawing in through the core. One full breath there, inhale, lengthen through the arms, and as you exhale, can you sink deeper into the chair? From here, right foot steps back, crescent lunge. Stay nice and low in the legs. Sweep the arms behind you, and if you can, link the fingers and find your chest stretch. Then from there, turning to face me, Warrior two, open the arms nice and wide. Sink low in the legs. Reverse warrior, turn the palm, lift. Next, we find extended side angle. Bring the forearm to thigh, bicep by your ear. Let's take that again, reverse. 
Can you reach a little more with those top fingertips? Can you sink deeper into the legs? Come back, extended side angle. And then from there, step the back foot in, sinking low chair pose. Again, one full breath here. Inhale, drawing the belly in. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Let's step back with the left foot. Square off the hips, come nice and low in the legs, feeling really strong here. Then from there, wrapping the arms behind you, link the hands, open through the chest, nice and strong. We come to warrior two, grounding down through the back foot, open the arms nice and wide, fierce like a warrior. Turn the palm, reverse warrior. Stay low through that right knee. Come to your extended side angle. And again, reverse. Extended side angle. And then from there, stepping the feet in, one more chair pose. Let's hold three counts. Three, two, and one coming up to standing. We'll just take one standing balance today. We're gonna to take willow tree pose. So for willow, ground down through the left foot. Take the right foot either at a kickstand, at the calf, or place the foot at the inner thigh. Then from there, let's the re reach the arms up to a wide V. Set the gaze in front of you here and just breathe, just feeling into the balance, how your body feels in space. And then from there, lower the right arm down towards the right leg and then slightly lower the left arm down as well towards the right side and we'll come to willow. Just bring the weight, shift the weight slightly forward, drawing in through the core, just testing what it feels like to take the body away from the midline. Then from there, find your V again, nice and tall, nice and proud. Draw the hands down through prayer at heart center. Foot comes down and just bend through the legs. Well done, let's take the other side. Right foot grounding you towards the earth. Place the left foot either at a kickstand, at the calf, or take the ankle. You know where to go. What feels right for your body today. And then let's take the arms to a wide V. Open across the chest here. Can you find a little more height? And then let's find willow. Left hand lowers down towards the left knee. Right hand comes a little towards the left. Drawing in through the core, shift the weight slightly forward to help you balance. And then just take the body away from the midline. Come back to your V, arms nice and high. Hold just a moment there. Feeling strong, tall and proud. And then bring the hands down through prayer at heart center. Foot lowers down. Well done, it's a really good one for focus to find that sense of inner calm. From there, let's come down towards the mat. We're just going to take a little bit of core work today. So we're just going to take some rollbacks. So from here, plant the feet in front of you, feet about hip width apart, lengthen the arms out, inhale, exhale, rolling down. And come up and down. We've got six more. That's halfway. Four. Three. Stay strong, drawing in through the core. Two. And one, beautiful, roll down. 
just four hip bridge here. So you might want to bring the feet in a little bit. We're just going to work a little bit through the glutes and hamstrings. Feet are hip width apart. Just check your knees stay hip width apart here. They don't come out or in. And inhale, exhale, rolling up through the spine, switching on through the glutes and through the hammies. Inhale, exhale, rolling down. Just three more like that, coming up and down. Two, last one, all the way up and down. Beautiful. Coming up, let's take Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees nice and wide. You can always place a block or a cushion underneath you just to make uh, the posture a little easier, if that's better for you. And then from there, inhale, exhale, walk the hands forward and let's find a stretch through the inner thighs and through the outer hips. Deep breaths there. And then just walking the hands back up, just taking an open twist. Inhale, exhale, open through the right, really reaching out through the fingertips and through the chest here. And hand comes down, let's take the other side. Inhale, exhale, twist. Bring the hand down and we're coming into our stretches. We'll take half pigeon, either keeping the back leg bent or stretching it long. Square off these hips, lift nice and tall and then fold on forward. Given we're aiming to keep this uh, practice fairly short and swift to get you moving and on with your day, we won't hold our stretches too long, but generally I like to hold them for about uh, 30 seconds to a minute or five slow breaths to really give the muscles the maximum benefit of the stretch. And then coming up from there, turning to face me, we'll take a stretch through the inner thigh and through the side of the body. So hand comes down, reaching over, feeling that beautiful stretch. And coming up, turning to face this right leg, square off the hips. Let's bring our hamstring stretch into it. Lifting the arms high, fold on forward, bend the knee as much as you need and really focus the stretch into the belly of the hamstring. You can point or flex the foot and just explore how the stretch changes in your body. And then walking the hands back up and let's take the other side, bending the right knee and stretching the left leg long if that feels good for you or keeping it bent. Roll that hip over, inhale for length, exhale, fold on forward, finding your way down towards the earth. And then just breathe there. Walking the hands back up, turning to face me, taking the stretch for the inner thighs and side of the body. Hand comes next to the calf, lifting high. Exhale, really reaching these fingers over to the side wall. And then lifting up, turning for the hamstring stretch, squaring off the hips, sitting up nice and high on the sit bones, lifting tall, 
falls on forward. Beautiful, staying nice and present as we move to it, towards the end of the practice. And then just coming to center, we'll just take a seated twist. Bring the left leg in, place the right foot either in front of the knee or cross it over, wrap the arm around, lift nice and tall, and then take in the twist. Eye gaze just over the, the right shoulder there. And back through center, let's take the other side. Find the foot position that works for you. Wrap the arm around, lift nice and tall, and bring in the twist. And if it does feel good for you, want a little more leverage, you can always place the arm outside of the knee and just help that to get you a little more leverage. And then just coming to a cross-legged seated position, position, just a gentle neck stretch to, stretch to finish. Just tilting the right ear towards the shoulder, letting the tension melt down through the left, through the neck, the shoulder, and down through the arm. Turn the gaze towards the mat, tuck the chin in towards the chest. You'll feel a little more stretch through the back of the neck. While you're here, really keeping that length from the tailbone all the way up through the spine. Come back through center. Let's take the other side. Really just roll that right shoulder out gently. So you can feel a little more of the stretch. Turn the gaze towards the mat. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. And just enjoy that stretch through the back of the neck. And then come back through center, sitting up nice and tall, just resting the hands lightly on the sides. And you're ready to get on with your day. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily yoga flow. Just a quick one to get you moving and feeling good. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. To stay consistent with your yoga and fitness, remember to subscribe and press notifications so you're notified when new classes come out each week.